Well, as you can see, we're back home to the cold and crappy weather. But you know what? It's not gonna stop us. Let's get to training. Before we do get started, while I was gone, I decided to order a couple new pairs of shoes because I've basically only been cycling between two shoes and the one pair of shoes have been my favorite and they got over 500 miles on them. So I figured I would need a new pair of shoes. And yeah, so these are the Ride 15s. These have been my favorite pairs of shoes. I used them all on my long runs for my marathon training and they have over 500 miles. So I'm like, I think I need a new pair. And I saw them on sale, so I was like, I'm gonna get them. And then I also saw the Ride 16s on sale as well. And I'm like, if I like the Ride 15s, I'm assuming I'll like the Ride 16s as well. We'll test them out. So I got the Ride 15s, Ride 16s. Got no excuses there. We got enough shoes to be able to train. And then the last thing we need to do is get a new membership at a pool that is a good size because the current pools that we've been using only 18 meters and they don't even have a lane at the bottom. So that's going to be the last thing that we need to do is get a membership at this pool that is actually two minutes away. So it's actually a lot more convenient for me too. And then once we do that, there's no excuses. We're going to get locked in. We got about four months out until our Ironman. So there's going to be no excuses from there. Not even the cold is going to stop us. So let's get to it. All right, we're gonna give our Ride 16s a little test run here. See how we like them. I remember when I got the Ride 15s, it took me a few runs to actually get used to them. So we'll see if the same thing happens with the Ride 16s, but let's put these on and let's get out for a run. As you can tell, running a tire is a little bit different than what we're used to in Tucson. I was a little bit cold while I was getting ready and I figured I would rather be too hot than too cold. So I decided to layer up, got some pants on, gloves, headband, two, two shirts on. So I'd rather be too hot than too cold right now. It's about 38. So gonna take some getting used to, but you know what? We still get this work in, so let's get to it. Only about five minutes in, and I'm already getting a little hot. But I was a little worried because now that I'm back home, I'm gonna be working out. And I just did my first workout in about three months, and my legs have been so sore. Like it hurts to bend over. I can't do anything, they hurt so much. But we got used to it. I'm somewhat over it now. Once I started running. Shoes are going well though. They seem a little stiff. So it might take some time to get used to and break it in. But I feel like they feel pretty good so far. Let's get back to it. Gloves are off. Headbands next. I'm starting to regret dressing too warm. Still, <laughs> still only like 10 minutes in. Got like 50 minutes left. It's gonna be hot. It seems that the more and longer I run, the more my legs and shins are hurting. I really gotta be mindful of my workouts to make sure that it's not taken away from my Ironman training. Because even though it is trying to be supplemental, I gotta remember that. I need to not try and push weight and make it more so functional and strength building for Ironman building or Ironman training because my legs are hurting quite a bit. Shed some more clothing. It's getting a little hot. I would love to take off my sweatpants, but I'd need to go through a whole process of taking my shoes off. It would just take way too long. But I only got about a mile left, so we're just gonna grind through it. We'll be a little hot, but we're almost done here. Well, the nice thing about that last mile is it was basically a direct headwind for the rest of the run. So it kept me nice and cool. Wasn't overheating too much. Little post-run deliberations on the Ride 16s. I thought they were pretty good. The more I used them, the more stiff they felt. So it might take some time to break in. 
Like I said, with the Ride 15s, they took some time to actually get used to and break in. So it might be the same with those. But they're nowhere near the comfortability that the Ride 15s had when, I, when they were in their prime and I was marathon training. I absolutely love those. I was nearly running in those every single day and absolutely loved them. So these are nowhere near that right now, but maybe they'll get there in the future once I break them in a little bit more. But I thought they were pretty good overall. My legs, they're, mm, whew, they're sore. I gotta be mindful of that in the future when I'm working out and I'm not trying to push a lot of weight. It's just to be supplementary to my actual run, bike and swim workouts because if I'm pushing myself too hard there and it hinders or my runs or bikes, they end up suffering because I'm pushing myself there because my legs are still so sore, or my back, whatever it might be. That's not the ideal case. We wanna make sure that we're prioritizing the runs and the bikes and the swims. It's just meant to be supplementary, so. Just over six miles, easy run, but we're on our cheat week right now. So just making sure that we don't lose all that momentum we had built up. First day smaller of a pool only four lanes so that kind of sucks it was a bit busy but i ended up joining this mom's workout we did 100s and 50s and then she was done and then i ended up doing a couple 200s and I finished around 270 yards but we're gonna have to try and find a time that's not as busy because the full lanes in there and it was pretty busy today so that's the only downfall but we're two minutes away from this you can't beat the convenience i'm all about convenience well, one of my biggest concerns about training in the cold was biking. It's a cold one out there, massive winds. I think it's about 20 to 30 kilometers. Got some gloves. Still debating whether or not I'm gonna wear this rain jacket, wind type of breaker. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna be heading out for a bike ride. It is freezing out there. I don't wanna be cold. Got sweatpants on. First time wearing pants on a bike. But yeah, I really just don't wanna be training on a trainer. Don't want to go back to that life. So we're going to be sucking it up, heading out on this bike ride, and we're going to see how it goes. All right, let's do it. Oh man, that was an absolutely brutal ride. And not because of the cold, but because of the wind. The wind just made that absolutely tough and I was thinking it was gonna be a nice stroll. We ended up putting in some good efforts, so that made it a little bit tough and just the wind. But I think the good news is, is this is probably gonna be the coldest it was, or it's gonna be. And for the most part, I wasn't really cold. So I mean, I got quite a bit of layers. I got this jacket, I got this sweater, and then I got a regular shirt on. I got these sweats on and then I got a regular pair of biking shorts on. So I was sweating quite a bit. I'm, swe I'm sweating right now. <laughs> so I know what I need to wear and like I was wearing this the whole time. It kept me warm, but I don't think it's going to be any colder than what it was right now, which is good. And moving forward, hopefully it does get a little bit warmer, but the wind was just absolutely brutal on that ride. I did not bring enough fuel. I had one gel. And like I said, there's no elevation gain here. So I was thinking it was going to be a fairly easy stroll. And my legs are still sore from the workout that I did the other day. And yeah, they, they struggled going into the wind. He just kind of took off while I was going. And he's a strong rider. And I think that's something that I'm going to be needing to incorporate more. Because before when I was just riding, it was just kind of riding to ride to get volume time in the saddle. And I think I need to have more dedicated efforts where I'm putting in harder efforts, more wattage and focusing on that. But moral to the story, we're training in the cold. It's not going to stop us though. You know, if we have to layer up, we're going to layer up, but we're going to be putting in all those reps. We're going to be going outside. We're going to be getting all that stuff done. And it doesn't matter about the weather. We're going to be doing that. So we're back home, training in the cold, and we're going to be getting this done. I think we're 16 weeks out now. So 
time to lock in and make sure we're training well. So appreciate you tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.